Good afternoon, Blue Beamers. My name is Troy DeGroat with U Chapter 2, and I'm excited to partner with the team at Brighton Graphics to deliver world class Blue Beam training and customization services, empowering you to get the most out of your Blue Beam investment. So let's dive into Blue Beam and show some examples. Another option for creating a report, I'm going to go back to my window assemblies here. And all of our summaries or reports can be found here at the top of our markups list. So if you're not familiar with the interface, as you go down to the bottom, we've got this blue line. If you drag that up, that's going to expose the markups list. And every time you do a markup up on the top, it generates a line item in the list for that markup. Another way to open this is to click on these little three dots over here. That will open up our markups list as well. So once this is open, you can look at the summary here. Click on there, you'll see your different options. The CSV, XML, PDF, and print. So let's talk about a few of these. A CSV export, if I click on that, our export window pops up and how these are going to work and they're all pretty similar you can go to the columns tab here select which columns you want to include in your summary so that's the columns across here if you don't want all of them that's okay just uncheck those then come over to your filter and sort and you can tell it to sort by space or subject or whatever you want that to be sorted by you can also filter out different markups as well if you want to filter out all the curtain walls and just keep the storefront you can do that in here with the sort and filter then we jump over to our output csv of course tell it where you want that to export to give it a file name and you can look through the settings in here and apply what's important to you. Uh, the ones, the major ones I want to point out when you're exporting to a CSV, so an Excel file, is we can include markups, which is going to give us um, each individual markup, each line item, or we can do the totals which will group all the similar um, similar objects so curtain wall glass one all of these different glass one markups would group together and give you a total instead of the individuals or you can do markups and totals so i'm pointing this out because i want you to be careful on what information you're including in that export so a couple different ways that I've seen people use this. Sometimes they'll export their markups and then they'll work with that Excel file to enter in formulas for labor and cost and things like that. They'll sort and filter within the Excel file. That's perfect, just fine. So determine what you wanna export there. Others I've worked with will export and import the Excel file into an existing estimating software. So the Excel file is just temporary. They need to export the PDF information into a language that their estimating software understands. If that's the case, that's where you wanna be careful, whether you're doing markups, totals, or markups and totals. Because as you can imagine here, if you do markups and totals, you're gonna double all your quantities if you forget to delete those total rows in your Excel file. So be careful of that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open file after creation. And from here, I can just click OK. Before I do that, if I do all this setup and it's a consistent export every time, I wanna make sure I save that configuration and share it with my team. They can load it, get exactly the same results you have without having to set it up every single time. Okay, save that configuration and we're just gonna hit okay. 
that's going to open up Excel for me. Drag that up here. And you can see here, I've got all of that information from my markups list in my Excel file. Okay, so whether you use it directly from here, you copy and paste that into your existing workbook, or you import this into your estimating software. Uh, I've seen others um, use Power Query to run macros and clean things up very quickly. Uh, lots of really cool stuff that I've seen happening out there. So that's our CSV whether you want it in Excel or you're importing it into an estimating software like I talked about. If you have any questions regarding training or customization services for your company, don't hesitate to reach out to the team at Brighter Graphics or myself. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out with that.